Russia's special forces are on the front line of protecting their country from terrorism at home and abroad. Only the fittest, the strongest and the best can earn the right to wear the Spetsnaz Crimson Beret. RT's Marina Fenoshina went to meet the latest recruits hoping to receive that honour. It may look like a scene from a Hollywood blockbuster, but these special forces are very real. These young soldiers, part of the country's internal forces, are preparing to meet any threats their country may face. The history of special units or Spetsnaz in the Russian army goes back centuries. The tactics and techniques have evolved depending on the key challenges of the time, but these guys have always been the elite. And in the 21st century, they are on the front line of the fight against terror. A siege, a hostage taking. For these youngsters, these are lifelike scenarios from training. None have yet taken part in a real operation. Day by day, they learn how to act effectively face to face with an enemy. It is exhausting, both physically and mentally. But for many, facing their own fears remains the hardest thing. I am said to belong to the elite, but of course I am human and I do have my fears. To cope with them is every soldier's number one most challenging task. Lieutenant Colonel Andrei Farayev is here to help the young boys deal with that. Owner of the Order of Courage for service in Chechnya and a Crimson Berry, the top Spetsnaz owner similar to America's Green Berry, he knows how to take control over human nature. Many sportsmen come to us and fail. Only 20% manage to prove they deserve it, as a true Spetsnaz soldier is a fusion of physical endurance and what may be even more important, emotional maturity. Countering terrorism is a Spetsnaz speciality, but they could be sent to any kind of emergency if it threatens the country's security. In mid-December, when the Russian capital was hit by a wave of violent nationalist riots, Spetsnaz soldiers were on standby, close by. Some may say that's no job for special forces, but for the police. We don't agree. There is the order and we have to carry it out as well as we can. That's it. All of these young soldiers are conscripts for a year at least. But many say they'll stay for longer, sign a contract and continue as professionals in the elite Spetsnaz. Marie Fnoshna, T, Moscow.